Welcome to the YouTube channel Physics Theories and Numericals, where we are providing you high quality videos for easy and joyful understanding of physics theories and concepts for life. Once you understand the theories, handling of MCQs and numericals will be easy. Also, welcome to the best MCQ series videos for ICSC Class 10 Physics. We have designed this best MCQ series videos with lot of care. Here, we are providing you high quality MCQs. We will be starting from very basic fundamental level and we will be moving on to more difficult level of MCQs. With each and every MCQs, we are giving explanations so that you can refresh your concept and strengthen them. This is just not a video. This is a mock test. With each and every MCQ, we are providing you reasonable timer so that you can get to your option before we take you to the answer. This will be around 15 minutes video and here we are providing you 11 number high quality MCQs. So if you calculate, you will find very high learning volume to time spent ratio. So we will suggest you to go through the entire video and enjoy the high quality MCQs and take the learning from it. We have already provided MCQ videos for your previous chapters. This video is for your chapter 6 say that is deviation, dispersion and spectrum. First MCQ, the angle of deviation delta for reflection of light through a prism does not depend on which of the following factors? There may be more than one correct options. Six options given. You have got 15 seconds time for you to get to your option. Your time starts now. If you require more time, do pause the video, take your time and come back to the video. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option A. That means the size of prism does not have any effect on delta. That is angle of deviation. The other five, it has got effect on delta. Let's understand it a little more. See, the color of the frequency of light is like if frequency increases, then refractive, in increase, refractive index increases and delta also increases. Angle of incidence. We know delta is minimum if I1 is equal to I2. That means it has, it is influenced by angle of incidence. Angle of prism, that also has a role because we know the relationship I1 plus I2 is equal to A plus delta. Now, refractive index of prism material and refractive index of medium. These two basically makes the refractive index of prism material relative to medium. So both the refractive indexes are important. So delta will be different if the prism is put in water compared to air. So refractive index of the medium also is important. Next MCQ. Two colors of lights, X and Y. Their speed, data, wavelength and frequency are given. You need to find out for which color the light will deviate more in a prism. 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option A, that is color X. See, what we know, if frequency is more, refractive index is more delta will be more that means for color x delta will be more it will deviate more in a prism next mcq which color of light travels the fastest in glass and second one is which color of light travels the slowest in glass basically two mcqs here together so your time of 10 seconds starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is 
Red color is fastest in glass and violet is the slowest in glass. This, in fact, we have studied in our previous MCQ. We know that mu v is greater than mu r. Mu v is greater means mu v is greater means speed of violet light is slow. In fact, speed of violet light is minimum in other medium, and speed of red color is maximum in other medium. In vacuum, they are same. This we had studied in the previous MCQ video. Next MCQ. While passing through a glass prism, which color of light will deviate the most? Violet, red, blue or yellow? And same, reverse. Which one will deviate the least? 10 seconds time for you. Time starts now. You should not take 10 seconds here. Because you know the concept. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is violet color will deviate the most and red will deviate the least. Next MCQ. While light is passing through a glass prism and breaking into different colors, it has been shown in black here. You find out which statement is not correct which statement is incorrect there are four statements given here 10 seconds time for you your time starts now which statement is not correct time's up let's see the answer answer is option two that is top color will not be violet top color will be red see very quickly you can find out either one or two either of them will be wrong because they are opposite to each other so you don't need to look at three four even you don't need to even look at that so either one or two either of them will be wrong because both of them cannot be at the top so here the answer is option two red color will not be at the top in uh, violet will not be at the top red will be at the top hope you are liking this video your response is important to us. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on the video and press the bell icon. Let's continue. A white beam of light gets split into seven colors while traveling through a prism. Fine. The splitting event takes place. Where does it happen? In the first refracting surface, second refracting or inside the prism or on the screen. 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. You know it. It is option A. In fact, this dispersion, the splitting of light, it takes place in the first refracting surface only. In the second refraction, it gets widened. It becomes more visible. Next MCQ. Three MCQs together. For a certain color of light, the speed data is given in a table as below. Look at the table carefully. You need to calculate three refractive indexes. Medium P relative to air. Refractive index of Q relative to air. A refractive index of Q relative to P. You need to calculate three refractive indexes. Your time for 15 seconds starts now. If you think you require more time, do take your time, pause the video, do your calculation and come back. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer sir, P relative to air is 1.2, Q relative to air is 1.5, and Q relative to P is 1.25. Let's see the calculation. Easy. So P relative to air will be ratio of their wavelengths. 
that is 6 into 10 to the power 14 by 5 into 10 to the power 14, that is 6 by 5, that is 1.2. Similarly, Q relative to here is 6 by 4, that is 1.5, and Q relative to P is 1.5 by 1.2, that is 1.25. It's easy. Next time, say Q. Four rays, in fact, four white rays. P, Q, R, S are entering a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree glass prism kept in air. The rays are entering in three surfaces at an angle 90 degree. In all the cases, the angle of incidence is zero. So they are entering perpendicular to the surface. The critical angle has been given. Glass two air is 42 degree. You find out which rays will suffer dispersion. 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. You did one similar MCQ in your earlier MCQ videos. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option A, that is ray P and S, they will suffer dispersion. How? Let's understand. See, look at the rays. Even though it is shown in different colors here, these are basically white rays that has entered. The coloring has been done for you to look at it clearly. See, out of the four rays we have seen in the earlier video on the same question in a different way. Here you see the star marked ones, they will suffer internal reflection. That is R and Q, Q and Q and R, they will suffer internal reflection. But P and S, they will not suffer internal reflection. In the second surface, they will have refraction. And at an angle of incidence, which is more than zero degree. So it, they, will, they will go through the surface at an angle. They will fall on that surface obliquely. So they will suffer dispersion. So ray P and S will undergo dispersion. Next MCQ. In fact, last MCQ of this video. Three rays of colors, yellow, green, and blue, have entered a 90 degree prism kept in air as shown. Three rays are entering. Look at the diagram. The green ray, the middle one, the green ray grazes along the second refracting surface. Now, what will happen to the other two rays? Four options given there. They will follow the green ray. Or yellow will have refraction and move out. Blue ray will undergo total internal reflection. Both of them will undergo total internal reflection. And fourth one is blue ray will have refraction and move out here. And yellow will undergo total internal Four options for you. Ten seconds time. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option B. The yellow ray will have refraction and move out and the blue ray will undergo total internal reflection. Let's understand it a little more. Because we know the refractive index of blue is more than green and for green it is more than yellow. That means yellow refractive index is minimum. That means yellow will have critical angle more than that of green. That means yellow ray will move out. It will undergo refraction and it will move out of the prism. But blue ray refractive index is more, so critical angle will be less, so it will suffer total internal reflection. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on the video. And also press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. We will come up with more such videos. Bye bye till then.